Hello traders, it's Patrick. Great to be back with another video for you. Today's is a little bit different than Forex trading. We're gonna talk stocks today, specifically five stocks. And I wanna talk about the five that I sent out April 5th on a YouTube video. So to preface this, I guess get right into it. I'm gonna pull up a screenshot here right now. There's a screen grab of the video. You can see the five stocks that we were looking at trading April 5th. I sent you five specific alerts to buy Chevron at 76 a share, to buy Microsoft at 155 a share, to buy AT&T at 29 a share, Disney at 90 share, and Coca-Cola at uh, 43 a share. So now that we are here and back, it is now, as I'm recording this, almost mid-September. We've had a few months go by and I wanna talk about these specific stocks, where they are now in comparison to where they were, and if I will continue to hold these positions. And maybe you're not in the positions and you're wondering for long-term trades if I recommend these positions and I'm gonna give you my insight on each. So I have a little sheet here to kind of help me because I just wrote down the prices that we're currently at as of right now, specifically to the penny. So the first things first, I said buy Chevron at 76 a share. It is currently trading at $80.03. So it is up 5.3% since April. Now to talk about Chevron, do I think it is still a buy? Yes. However, let's talk about the scope of Chevron. First of all, it is one of the safest stocks that you can be involved in, specifically when we're talking about the energy sector and specifically in oil companies. Now, the reason that I bring this up is the petroleum sector obviously has been getting drilled because of the cost and, and the price of oil. Oil has been getting absolutely killed, not only from the OPEC situation in March, but also from, of course, the virus causing a, a massive hit to demand and a pent up supply currently all over the world. With that said, do I expect this to continue forever? No. I believe Chevron, first of all, is a solid company to be invested in. Second of all, with the dividend structure they have, love it. Third, third, the most important is do I think oil will come back and do I think it'll actually go higher? And for me personally, yes. So I will continue to hold Chevron, even though it's only up 5.3%, wasn't a bad pick, still will hold it, still like it, just for my insight. Secondly, we do also have Microsoft. Now I said to buy Microsoft at $155 a share, and guess what? We are currently trading at $211.29. So I bring this up because we are up over 36% on this trade. And right now, do I continue to hold it? Again, the answer is yes. Even though we're at 211, you might think, are we overbought? Do I think there could be a pullback? I do, especially because the technology sector has been getting a little bit hit lately. And I think that coming into this fall, we may see things slow down up until Christmas time. So do I expect this thing to continue to rise at its pace that it is right now? No, absolutely not. But we bought it at a great spot, 155 a share, continue to hold that. And price targets are gonna be up 250, 300, okay? Third, AT&T, probably the flop of this, but not an overall flop. I said buy it at 29 sh a share. It's basically a wash. It's currently at $29.37 a share. So with that said, it's only up a percent, uh, a little over a percent right now. Do I continue to hold it? No. I think I'm gonna ditch AT&T. Specifically, nothing scares me, but it's not seeing the growth that I thought it would see, and it's not seeing the rebound that I thought it would see. So for me personally, I'm gonna ditch it for now, so I'm no longer in AT&T. So ditch that stock if you're following along with this portfolio. Fourth is Disney. I said buy it at 90. This is another major hit. And uh, it's currently at 103, or 133, excuse me, dollars and 36 cents for a 48% gain. Now, I don't think Disney's fully recovered. I don't think anybody does. And because of the virus, we're in a great situation. We bought it around 90. Whether you bought it at 90 or even 100, it doesn't matter. We bought it down low in the only time that we could probably buy it at that affordable of a rate and that big of a discount, quote unquote. And uh, I'll continue to hold this for, for quite some time. And the reason being is that this is not over. This pandemic's not over. And obviously the park visits, the revenue, the income, you've seen it. If you've looked it up, go look it up. Disney has gotten hurt but they've been able to rebound, they've been able to survive, and they're doing really well from a stock perspective right now. I'll continue to hold Disney and probably long-term. Finally, Coca-Cola. 
what do you expect? Coca-Cola, just a solid company to invest in to shelter and grow slowly. Uh, we said buy it at $43 a share in that video. It's uh, $50.19 for a 16.7% gain, okay? Continue to hold Coca-Cola. There's no reason not to. Uh, it's a long-term play. Probably out of all of these, I'll hold that even longer than all of them. So out of five stocks, only one of them really has done poorly. Obviously, Chevron's not great, but uh, at and is the only poor performer. Even then, we didn't lose money on the deal. Basically broke even, percent and a half up, and uh, I'll get rid of that one. So out of five, I get rid of uh, only one. I keep four, and uh, hopefully you guys can get some value out of this and continue to build your portfolio. So obviously, I'm gonna make future videos if I do deem any new stocks to be you know, purchasable at this time or investable. But as of right now, these are the specific companies that I like. These four companies that I'm kind of building a mini portfolio here on YouTube for you guys, and I will continue to hold. So with that said, if you got any value out of this video, do not forget to click the like button. Comment down below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.